Johnny here from Cherry Robin Vlog. And today, Paula and I are going to show you how to clean your running watch. <laughs> Say hello. So this is my watch, um, as you can see it's gotten really dirty, um, also I have to confess I was under the impression my watch is not waterproof so every time I took a shower I would just take it off and not actually like rinse it um, and now when I wanted to charge it I saw that it's really dirty and I won't be able to get my cable in there without damaging anything. So I decided to clean it. So this is what we're going to do. And up next is a few things that we'll need. So I have with me a little soft-ish brush that I'm going to use. I have some cotton wool. Um, and then I have one earbud. Um, I couldn't find another one. <laughs> so hopefully one's enough. And then I have some toilet paper. And then I've got some of Paul's baby wipes. I was thinking they're always nice to clean stuff with. And then a cloth to rinse. Uh-uh. And then some mild soapy water and then I have a bottle of water and some clean water in case I might need it. So first off I started by prepping a bowl of lukewarm water just so that you have that ready with like a mild soap. It's important not to use any harsh chemicals or steel wool or abrasive materials when you're cleaning the watch. Um, just to make sure you don't damage any delicate parts of it. So I'm going to start. Shoot, my watch is so dirty. <laughs> I'm actually know where to start. So I'm going to start with the um, charging port and the inside of the watch. The, um, the other important part is that if your um, I don't know if that thing going to actually focus properly, but if your um, heart rate uh, sensor is very important to keep clean and um, uh, for, uh, without dirt or any debris on it, because that will also affect the way your it measures your heart rate and things like that. So it's important to keep that clean. And also make sure that when you are cleaning that part of the watch that you do it with a soft fabric or something that's not abrasive or steel wool or anything that might scratch it because that will obviously damage the watch. Um, so the USB port is actually waterproof, uh, it's water resistant and everything so you can actually dunk the watch. Although I'm very nervous to do this, I'm going to do this now. <laughs> so I'm going to just dunk the watch a bit. And I also want to clean the strap because it's really, really dirty and really messy. Oh my goodness, all the stuff that's falling into this water. <laughs> okay, I'm going to just slightly brush the strap. Um, sure. It is quite messy. Um, so, slightly cleaning that in all the holes. Let me quickly do that for you. Okay, so now I cleaned the strap. As you can see, my water is very dirty. Look at this, it's a little shop. Anyway, so now to clean the heart rate sensor on the inside, I'm taking a little bit of cotton wool. I'm just gonna dab it into the soapy water. I'm just gonna like rub around it and clean it softly, um, but preventing it from being scratched. Um, Sorry, Paul is joining me, so he's cleaning the table now with the that. Okay, so there's still a little bit in there that I want to try and see if I can get out with the... Okay, so after you clean the two delicate parts of the watch, um, and it looks nice and clean, everything looks nice, um, I suggest that you flip it over and you wipe the screen clean of any other debris or sweaty build up. I'm using a uh, cotton wool with a little bit of soapy water. I'm going to use the same thing to just dry it off, a dry one, to dry it off nicely. Everything looks very nice. So, pretty and clean and shiny. Um, and then, um, if you haven't already cleaned your strap previously, then just flip it over, put it in the water and rinse it. Um, strap looks nice and clean again now, no holes at all. 
blocked or anything anything that's nice clean okay then if you don't regularly wear your watch every single day it's recommended that you just dry it off properly before you store it don't put it in any plastic bags or anything that can retain moisture and then also um, don't keep your watch stored in direct sunlight in direct sunlight or in um, extreme heat temperatures or extreme um, the cold temperatures either thank you for joining me today um, I hope that your watch is all nice and clean now and then if you have any questions please let me know you can also refer to the polo website they do have a nice instruction otherwise in the description below I put all the steps that I use to clean the watch and then there's also a link to my website where you can go have a detailed look at it as well if you need more pictures and so on so yeah, if there's any more questions, please let me know. But please remember to subscribe in the corner there. And then I will see you again for any more reviews on mommy running gear or running gear and so on. Thanks. Bye.